The last operating system we'll go over is Apple's Mac OS. We won't go into too many details about how to use this OS. Instead, we'll focus on the ins and outs of the Windows and Linux OSs. But if you know one operating system, you'll be able to navigate any operating system. Fortunately, all Apple computers come with Mac OS pre-installed. So we'll just go through the important parts of the operating system. Okay, here's the desktop environment for our Mac. At the bottom here, you'll see a dock with shortcuts to your applications. In the top right, you've got the system information like the time and date, network connectivity, battery life if you have a laptop, and some other quick settings. In the top left here, you can see the Apple icon. This bar will change menu options depending on what application is open. But if you click on the Apple icon, you'll see more options. You can tell your computer to sleep, restart, and power off from here. The most important thing we want to look at is at the System Preferences menu item. This launches our system settings. From here, we can change any of our computer settings, like setting the orientation of our mouse scroll, adding and removing users, setting up printers, changing our screensavers, adding Bluetooth devices, and more. I'm going to click on the desktop now. You'll notice our top left setting changed from our system preferences to Finder. Finder is the file manager for all Macs. If you open a new Finder window, you can navigate the files and folders on your Mac. If you right-click on a file, or if you're using a Mac laptop, you can use a two-finger click on a file to view more information and perform lots of different tasks. The Mac, which is a completely different operating system than Windows or Linux, operates in a very similar way with similar menu options. Wow, you've really come a long way. You've been introduced to the major operating systems used today, gotten to play around with the system, and even perform some common tasks. Nice work. It's important in any IT role to know the ins and outs of operating systems because you'll be interacting with them every single day. We have a separate course that teaches you all the essentials you need to navigate the Windows and Linux OSs. But for now, pat yourself on the back. You just took the first step towards understanding OSs. Installing, managing, and navigating operating systems are all tasks that you'll have to do daily as an IT support specialist. You may even find yourself doing this for hundreds, if not thousands of machines in your fleet one day. Before we send you to the next module, we have two assessments for you, which will test you on creating files with both Windows and Linux. You can always go back and review the videos again if you need a refresher. Otherwise, I will sign off for now and we'll meet again in course three, Operating Systems and You, Becoming a Power User. In the next module, you'll meet my friend and colleague, Victor Escobedo, who's gonna dig into the internet and networking.